Hello, this is Kiss Baloo, and welcome to News Time in Minecraft, or whatever I'm going to call this. Um, it's a newish thing I'm doing. Newish because, let's face it, I've sort of done this before, but not in this format. Uh, basically, it's Minecraft, where I'm building something, and it's also channel news, because I have a lot of stuff I need to mention. And hopefully it works out really well! Um, before we get into the news, there's two things I should bring up immediately. First of all, all the important stuff I'm going to put into the video description. So, if you're having trouble finding something, or understanding me, hopefully you aren't having trouble understanding me, or else there isn't really much point to this. But, whatever the case, if you're having any trouble, you can find important stuff in the video description. Second of all, um, as for the format of this itself, in case it isn't obvious, it is fairly heavily edited, and I'm doing the commentary separately to the, um, the other thing. Separately to the video. So again, hopefully this works out well. I don't know. Hopefully. We'll see! But at least it'll look a lot better than all those other shitty Minecraft videos on my channel. <laughs> at least that's something. Okay, moving on. First topic I need to talk about is Final Fantasy VI. Basically, I just need to say I've already recorded and edited the whole series, um, which is a little bit unfortunate because I would rather not be so far ahead. To be honest, it's nice to be ahead, but it's nice to be like a few weeks ahead. Being this far ahead is kind of ridiculous. Uh, there's a big reason for that, though. Um, Basically, I'm moving next month, and consequently, I needed to make sure I had a lot of videos ready for that, so I ended up doing a big bulk recording session over the space of a few days near the beginning of June. Um, and then I spent the next two weeks editing them all, and now I have enough Final Fantasy 6 videos to last me until around the beginning of August, like first week-ish. I, I think, give or take a week, it, I'll, the end of Final Fantasy 6 should be the first week of August, I think. Unless I'm misremembering. It's somewhere in that area, anyway. However, obviously I'm going to be really busy in July. And I'm not going to have much time for editing and e or for editing and recording, and even if I do, I won't necessarily be able to because my compute, all my computing stuff will be in, be in the process of moving as well. Plus also, I'm going to reformat my computer somewhere in there, so that'll take up even more trouble. Anyway, it's going to be a very hectic July for me. But there will be Final Fantasy VI throughout! Yay! That said... Now from other stuff, like future stuff on the my channel, I guess. Sure, why not? Um, I'm gonna I talk about this a little bit in the very last episode of Final Fantasy VI. But honestly, let, like I already said, that's gonna be not gonna be until like August. So what am I actually gonna be doing? Well, more Final Fantasy, um, probably. Unless I'm sort of burnt out on Final Fantasy. I really don't think I will be at that point. I was actually feeling kind of burnt out when I finished recording Final Fantasy VI. Which is what, um... Because I did a whole bloody lot of it all at once. But even now, I'm sort of starting to lose that feeling. And I'm like a probably a, the better part of a month away from actually recording anything. The thing is, I'm not going to be recording my future series... My big one, until I'm fully settled in, or at least mostly, for I'm moving. However, I do am considering doing some short, small, like, either very short, small games or like one-off videos, like, you know, I don't know, like, in, to use a random example for my Steam list, hey, why don't I play Binding of Isaac for an episode? Because it's self-contained is the important part, so it's only one thing. The keyword is short, but I'm sort of lacking ideas on what to actually do. And that's where you can come in! 
Give me suggestions for things you'd like to see me play that I might have. I guess. Sure! Let's go with that. Okay, so let's look at this Minecraft stuff! Because it's a thing. Basically, in this one, I'm starting on a new area. I've been wanting to build, like, this big dam system for a while, so I started on that. And I think it turned out pretty well. And you'll see by the end, so you can make your own decision. But this is actually, whether I do more videos on this or not, although I intend to, this is going to eventually be, like, a whole big build project. But you need to start somewhere, so you may as well start with the thing that you wanted to do the most. And I think it turned out pretty well. Although, I guess, hmm. Well, you'll see. On this one, basically, I'm just trying to get it to look good, I guess. I get the nice arc at the top, then I put in the central support beams, which is mostly just to break the, the monotony of stone. And then I fill up the holes. And I leave some space at the top for sort of like floodgates, which has a nice effect afterwards. One thing to point out is the attention to de is the attention to what everything is on. Because what a lot of people do is they sort of just stop at the dirt. But that doesn't really look very good. So I think it's really important to make sure you go down to where it actually looks the best. Which in the case of most structures means if there's stone and then there's dirt right underneath it and you can see the dirt, usually that doesn't look very good. And now I'm blocking off everything so that I can... Fill it all up. Fill it up with water! Flood it all! Create, basically create a dam dammed up river lake thing? I don't know. Honestly, that's something sort of weird with the Minecraft because the way rivers work, you can't really get a na completely natural looking thing. So what you sort of need to end up doing is you need to pick a section that, if you want to dam it up, you need to pick a section to do it then do it on both sides and raise the water level. Because that's the only, like, natural looking way to set- well, it isn't really natural looking, but that's the only way to do it that doesn't look bad. Um, it's the only functional way to do it, I guess you could say. Now, I'm not starting at the top. And I'm using small increments because the server I'm on has a limit to how many blocks you can change of world at it at one time. So consequently, it's it works better if I take it up a little bit at a time. Um, and for a while, I just am really anal for making sure there's all the water blocks on the surface are actual proper blocks, so there isn't any weird flowing going on in the surface. Of course, this isn't actually the surface yet. So, eventually, I realized that, hey, why am I doing this? I'm not on the surface yet. I should just wait until I'm actually on the top. Eventually. This is me just checking the caves to make sure I'm not ruining anything. Um, which isn't really too big of an issue. As long as there isn't, isn't anything immediately, uh, outside, then it would have been fine, because that's sort of one of the advantages of actually having a limit on world edit. I can't ruin anything on accident because I forgot to block something off.
And now we get to see how it looks with the water on all going down. And honestly, I don't think it's a bad start, but it needs a little bit of work. It needs terraforming on this side to make the water flow look better. Um, basically, there's two problems here. Both of them are on either side. Um, the thing with waterfalls in Minecraft is if the water is going straight down a certain... If the water is on a surface, um, and there's flat ground in the same level or lower of the water right beside it that the water isn't on, it doesn't look very good. So the best way to make it look good is where the water is, you want that to be lower than the ground right around it. Which here I do by just getting rid of all of the dirt. Because that's the easiest solution. At the end of this video, what I also did is I didn't change the water part anymore, but I wrapped the top part of the, this dam around the side of the cliff a little bit because I thought it looked better that way. And now let the water unleash! And that looks much better. Almost. It needs one more quick fix. Yo! There we go. That looks a lot better now. Now, by comparison, this one is a lot simpler than the one on the other side. It's larger, but it's also straight. Um, with a simple surface and very simple floodgate setup. In fact, I think the surface is a little too simple on this one. I'm probably going to go back later on to add a little bit more detail to the top and, uh, well, the top and wall parts of this, at least the wall part that isn't underwater. Still, as a starting point, I think it looks pretty good, so... You know, can't complain too much. Let the water unleash. And it's a little bit of a mess. But only in like one or two places. So I just do the same thing I did over on the other side and I flatten around the edges a little bit. But it still needs a little more detail. Because if you look, were to look at the inside right now, which is a space that's really easy to get into. It wouldn't look great, it's sort of just this one single sheet wall. It only looks good from one side right now, and I don't really like that. I want it to look good from every conceivable angle that does not involve breaking into something. Um, in fact, I'm going to go back to that a little bit later, but first, I actually kind of wish I had kept this dam the way it is, kind of, kind of not. I like how it looks all by itself, but the original idea for this side was to actually do a series of dams with gradually lowering water level. Um, 
which I can get away with in this part because the shape of the hills are gradually getting lower in this direction, whereas it's just a sudden cutoff on the other side. Something that I that I am really big about when building things like this is I think it's really important to use the terrain properly. A lot of people just if they're doing a big build like this, they just terraform the whole thing and then that's the end of it. But I don't think that's really the best result. Often I think you get better um, looking mega structures. I mean, that's basically what, what this is. If you actually use the land as it is, and like you have to change some things, right? But you should be um, conservative in the changes you make. Here, I had to be careful with the height because I'm pretty close to the gr to the uh, ground level now. So if it was too low, it just wouldn't work because the whole um, floodgate aspect of this structure takes up a fair amount of space uh, vertically, which is fine if it's like. 50 blocks tall, but less so if it's barely off the ground, as is the case here. Aha! The first part time, actually do the water fill properly. Case in point right here, about what I meant before about it not looking good if it's on flat ground or if there's flat ground beside it flat relative to the level the water is on anyway and then the water is not on it it just looks like shit because it's a, a, an obvious break from physics because minecraft water physics are a little bit weird um but it's something that's not too hard to fix And we're done! Check, check, check it out. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, though, if you did, there will probably be more. And if not, I don't know. This is sort of experimental. 
In any case, until next time, for whatever that'll be. Well, actually, actually, before I sign out, there is one more thing I should mention. Because this is a new section, make sure you tell me what you liked about it and what you didn't. So that I know what worked and what didn't. If you liked it a lot, like I said, I'll probably do it some more. If you didn't, then, well, I still might do it some more. Because I think it was kind of fun to do, but I might not. Who knows? Whatever the case, just make sure you tell me about it, though. I'd also, once again, love to hear about some suggestions for what you'd like to see for short, like, one-off things. I'm gonna say, if it takes more than three videos, then it's too long. For the for the purpose of what I'm looking for. Um, that'll, now that that's all established, let's do the sign-off for real! So until next time, this has been Let's Play Nothing, because we actually built some stuff in Minecraft. And also news with Chaos Blue. So until that next time... Well, I just said who I've been, so bye! Have a good day.